comes out nice without taking the clip out. There's the piece of shit that would not let my truck start. And unlike other videos that don't show you the part number or the product, you can get the whole O-ring set from Align Power. There's the new O-ring. You need a tool like this because you're going to have to hold the retainer or whatever it's called in place as you push the new O-ring in. Now you take a flat screwdriver and gingerly because you don't want to cut the brand new O-ring push it in it's gonna look all crazy and fold it up and whatever and you're just gonna slowly work it into place And what I do to make sure it sits right on the fuel rail, I actually have my fuel rail off my O3 out. And what you want to do is just make sure that it seats properly. So you take the injector and you slowly work it in there until it clicks. And now you know when you put your rail back on, the O-ring is seated properly. And it's 10 times harder to put a new one on than an old one. They come on and off like nothing. So you can see the difference right there. And now you can see, if you come in a little closer, you can see that the O-ring wall is no longer flush with the retainer clip. And that's how you do it without removing the clip.